Hello and welcome to another edition of the Radio After Rant. This is not a rant per se. What I want to get into is medical cannabis as related to the veteran, of which I am one. I got a DAV. I'm a member of the DAV. I've got the DAV November, December issue. And there we go. Self-explanatory right there. Uh, the head is the cannabis cure. So I took a look at this. Now, I understood earlier this year, in fact, there was a law that the Senate had passed uh, that would give us, or the House of Representatives, rather, would give us uh, veterans uh, the right to uh, medical cannabis. Uh, I was very excited about that, only to get let down, because uh, none of that has happened, even though they passed uh, H.R. 5520, the VA Medicinal Cannabis Research. They're going to research medical cannabis. Well, see, the problem is, is that uh, Obama failed to uh, declassify cannabis as a Schedule One drug. If he had done that, I mean, I would find no fault. That's the only fault I can find with the guy. Uh, so we're going to study something that's already been studied. Leave it to the federal government to just uh, provide a lot of bureaucracy and redundancy. We have a lot of states right now that have medicinal cannabis. You know, most of the blue states, uh, we could say, and we you know Arizona has medicinal cannabis. The time has come to make this right and do right by the vet veterans. You know, PTSD, uh, chronic pain, uh, injuries such of that nature, uh, you know, uh, cannabis provides such a wonderful cure rather than uh, kill people with opiates. So that's uh, HR 5520 they're going to study. And I always get a little leery when people say they're going to study something. That means we're not ready to fund it. That means we don't really want to do it. We will if we have to. So now we're going to study. Okay. So the other app that I see here uh, that I have I don't have a problem with it, just the, the wording. See, we have to get uh, trans-global. And what I mean by this, let's call things by the right name. The name marijuana, well, let's just associate it with Tijuana. Okay? Marijuana, Tijuana. Tijuana, Mexico. Mexico, brown people. There you have it. So if we could not call it marijuana and call it cannabis, that would be transglobal because I'm sure every other nation in the free world calls it by its correct name. And I don't care if they don't. We are going to lead the way on this. So this is the uh, uh, Veterans Medical Marijuana Safe Harbor Act S3409. This would empower VA physicians to issue medical cannabis recommendations in accordance with the laws of the states where it's legal. It's legal here. Yahoo! Let's get on with it. Let's make it happen. Let me tell you something, people. It cost me out-of-pocket expense to have my medicinal cannabis card. It's a lot of money, okay? And so the state of Arizona is taxing the hell out of me. What happened to no new taxes? All right, that guy lied. But what happened to the conservative, uh, fiscal conservative people who didn't want to raise my taxes? <coughs> Excuse me. That's a tax. And it's only a tax because the people in Arizona, the powers that be, didn't want anything to do with medicinal cannabis. So if we can make that happen, then I could quit paying a tax every year. Life would be better. And so it would be better for uh, a lot of veterans as well. Thanks for listening. I'm out. Have a nice day.